to me and just started bad mouthing him and, and what the plan is to get these Ron Paul supporters uh, diminished, their, their influence diminished in the Republican Party. And I was just like, wow, this is so co-opted. This is just a production. This is this isn't real. And and it just it, it just made me think, look, this is this is something that people put so much power into uh, just by believing it. And it's it's all fiction. And you know, just realize that the power that you have are, are individuals and, and learning how to grow your own food and, and the cycle of the world is tapping into the, the place that we are in and why we are here. We're not here to follow somebody. day I still don't know why didn't he use his, his alto or his tenor what the hell was the well maybe it was a homage right now the mic should be working yeah as you see I thought the mic was working but it wasn't okay uh, I'm sorry about that um, okay so yeah it's me with another video of your truck it's Matthew with another video of your truck somewhere too and today we're taking batteries from as you can see, we spied in Russia to buy Dosk in Poland, okay? Um, and we're in this man Euro 6 mod and uh, you know I just I know I just made you this and you've been listening to the sounds all along the sounds, you know, as you probably picked up a really good and so is the truck, it's really nice, it's feels like a real truck and I like driving it and whatever uh, but anyway I won't be recording for that long today because I got things to do and well let's just say I uh, it's about I don't know how long much later than I usually record but you know I've only realised that the last like 10-15 minutes so I have to uh, basically uh, stop earlier sadly but Right, let's carry on. Anyway, so... So, you know, um... I haven't... Uh, I, I guess in the short time I'm going to be doing this video, I'll talk about... Uh, myself, now I've been the last... Well, pretty much all summer, I guess. Well, not all summer, but... Uh, recently, what's, what's been happening? Uh, so... Yeah, yeah basically what happened? Uh, Basically, Thursday night, and uh, let's just say Thursday night I had, oh, major depression attack, see, you know, I just started feeling so down and whatever, my anxiety was through the roof, I was worrying about absolutely everything I could have been worrying about that really was not a problem at the time, probably was never going to be a problem for a while that I needed to worry about, and you know, I was getting you know, sad and whatever, and I was planning to do something that night, I didn't do that, and I, oh, by the time I went to bed, 
felt better, but I'm still last night feeling. I felt better last night, uh, but then, uh, well, it eventually sort of, eventually sort of came down, as it did, sort of settled down. But yeah, I have, yeah, I do have, you know, I suffer from anxiety. Okay, um, yeah, as well as autism, I suffer. As well as being on the autism spectrum, I, I also, you know, suffer from anxiety a lot when I'm worrying about things which, well, let's just say I don't need to. But, yeah, basically, I, I've worried all my life, and well, not all my life, but you know, I've always worried about things a lot all my life, and you know, I've had great concerns for them, and. Uh, you know, I'm trying to, at the end of the day, I'm trying to get my sort of anxiety and weather under control so I can, oh, uh, let's just say, be more confident, be less nervous when I'm making or doing something and actually feel like I'm enjoying it and, uh, you know, be able to talk to the people or whatever, you know. When I'm streaming, so I become, you know, better at streaming or whatever, and I'm less sort of, I, I come across less nervous or whatever, more sort of confident, want, and willing to do it. Yeah, and I will say the map. The FPS on the map in Europe, in in um, Russia is not the best. So if it's if it's honestly lagging a lot for you, then yeah, it's normal for this map. It does that. Really getting out of Russia, you know. Still, still got all this to. And this spot around here is extremely lucky. So, yeah. yeah. So I wanna. I'm trying to get down to control it. I will stream here and there, but until I'm, you know, got my anxiety into control and everything like that, I won't. I won't be doing it incredibly regularly. It just turns out I do, but yeah, I wanna get things under control before you know I before I start committing myself to more, you know, because it's not a good idea to commit yourself to things if you feel if you've got anxiety, you feel stressed out, whatever. You know, that's that's just not what you want to do. Also, I'm going to attempt to eventually stream a bit longer or just to make it what I am streaming a bit more interesting so the time I do do it, well, it feels actually kind of worth it, you know. Because um, uh, um, I've done that before and it's been good. Um, you know, eventually, like on a Saturday night, if it was kind of my choice, I think it'd go from like eight or nine in the evening till uh, probably about twelve or one in the morning. I mean if I could 
I mean, honestly, if I if I could, I'd probably be uh, on this. I'm playing games like 12 hours a day or whatever. Let's say starting at like I know four or five in the evening and then going on to like uh, midnight or one a.m. Let's just say Saturday nights you'd go to like you know, two a.m. in the morning or something like that. You know. Yeah, the lights also instruct the lights look incredible on the inside and while the outside they look really nice as well you know this truck is just you know it's one of those trucks it's just so good and whatever i just really like it If any of you want an update on what I'm going to do eventually with this PC, I mean, at the moment I've been having this problem where when I start up my PC, the, it will connect to the internet for a couple of seconds and then, well, lose connection and eventually, after about a minute or two, connect back up and that's says what Windows says is caused by a dodgy connection somewhere, so if I can sort that, I will, but if I can't, it's not the worst. Uh, it's not the worst deal in the world, but mm, it's a bit annoying. Uh, it's quite annoying, actually. Uh, so, uh, hopefully, I can really get that fixed eventually. Um, but, anyway, so, uh, um, I've got three parts of mine. Two of them are probably for my birthday, and the other as well, I don't know. The other well I don't exactly know, but hopefully sometime this year. Uh, the two parts I'm gonna probably have for my birthday is uh, the Corsair 600, well, PSU, uh, sem semi modular one. Uh, I don't want a full modular. I don't. I would not want a fully modular PSU, you know, because then you potentially could screw up all the cables, couldn't you? If you didn't know exactly what you were doing. But, uh, anyway. So a semi module a 600 watt or possibly 750 depending on what I do. Uh, and a Noctua NHD 14 the CPU cooler. Um, and then eventually for the video card I've got three considerations going to be the well I suppose four, but there's another board I don't think it officially officially supports NVIDIA, so it would kind of be a risk going with it. If I was gonna go with NVIDIA, well I don't I honestly think I would aim to something like well, actually possibly the nine. I would say the nine sixty, but then I'll think like, well, should I have that the nine seventy or whatever, or nine nine eighty or nine whatever, nine eighty Ti or uh, just a nine eighty supercraft. And those cards last a long time, but you know, I don't think. I don't think I'll risk trying to put a video card on this motherboard. Uh, but anyway, in the case of AMD, well, considering Fridland, I'm considering the R9 380, which currently, when I'm making this video, is £165, I think. And then the second hand, or, you know, redone, or refurbished, uh, HD 7970, uh, which is about £200-ish, depending on which one you get. And then finally the R9 390, uh, which is uh, 250, 60 pounds. This value. I left me getting two things for the day and then that. Uh, I'll see what happens. I mean, never know, I might honestly save up till now and then collect my birthday money and then, you know, collect my Christmas money and then <laughs> spend it all on that. <laughs> or not all of it, but like, I don't know. Like a massive amount of something. But what you spent all your money on a video card? Well, it's uh, it's worthwhile, you know. Cause it would be worthwhile. 
I mean, at one time I was thinking about replacing this motherboard, and I would do that, but in a way, I almost not 100% on doing it because I mean, the installation part I'm not that worried about. Uh, getting all the wires isn't too bad. It's just I want to do it so I don't have to format this PC because a lot of things on it I can't format or get back. Uh, and so. What you basically have to do to do that is you have to uninstall the drivers for your motherboard, video card, and things like that. Uh, and find all those and then uninstall them and then it will work. The question is how do you know they're all related? Um, so I would probably ask around and see if anyone can help. And yeah, all like that. And if I say on that then I, yeah I'll consider it. But for now I'm not really considering changing this motherboard. Even though changing the mean I can go up to the full speed of this RAM, which is 1600 MHz, uh, or at least one side of it is. And I can actually overlap this CPU to 3.9 or 4 GHz, which would make it a lot faster. <laughs> God knows how fast that would make. It's pretty fast anyway, 3.4, but 3.9 or 4, well, that'd be brilliant. And then, uh, you know, uh, it would definitely support, you know, it would probably support both AMD and video, but. Yeah, the current motherboard is okay, but it's just not. It's a worst case scenario motherboard because it's a mini ITX. It's an old mini ITX motherboard made by Acer. The thing is, no one exactly knows the model name. They think it's the X3990 or something, or the 3. The 3990 or something, I don't know. Uh, the Aspire 3990, but they think when you type that into Google, it's the PC model. No. They called they called the motherboard the same bloody thing they called the PC. Um, but yeah, so um, yeah, so but yeah, it's not a very ideal motherboard. It's quite old. And it's it's not very good at all really for anything more than just using it. It's uh, beyond that. It's pretty terrible. I'm probably going to pull over soon uh, on the side of the road to end the video here. I mean, yeah, it's only been around 20 minutes, but hey, it's better than nothing. I hope next week I'll be able to uh, actually run and get up at the time and then just, uh, right time and then just uh, record a really long 40 50 minute video. Because that's what you love to do. You deserve you, uh, what you deserve at the end after waiting for a week for videos. It's a 40 50 minute video. Uh, a 40 50 minute video, or 40 minute video with a really nice journey in there, and really relaxing and all that, you know. And yeah, as you can hear, the Indian has a quite slow. It bothers some people, but it doesn't initially bother me. Actually, I'll just put those on. Okay. There we go. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. You know, do make sure to come and like, subscribe. Sorry, it couldn't be a longer video, but I don't know. It's the way it goes, isn't it? So, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Do make sure to come and like and subscribe. And till next time, salute.